1027 EQX. Welcome to another house session uh, in Studio BB, as we call it, or you could also call it the basement of the house. Uh, Cal, welcome. I, I know I'm, I was talking to you Thank earlier. You. You're welcome. Uh, we have Rubble Bucket here. We have so many people, possibly the most people we've ever put in this room. If you could do a quick go around of everybody in the band and what they do, including yourself, of course. Okay, let me see here. To my left, we have Maddie Rice, who's playing guitar. Then we have Ian Chang on drums and Daniel McDowell on bass and Jacob Bergson on keys and Jeremy Phipps on trombone and Alex Toth on trumpet and I'm Calmia Traver and I just remembered everyone's names. I'm so proud of myself. Not Alex. that I don't know these people way too well. But you know what? That's a lot of people in a band. I could see how you could slip up <laughs> a little bit. Um, Rubble Bucket tonight performing at the Hollow in Albany. And first off, thank you for all your hard work. Um, you know, I know like you have a, a show tonight and to set up a band with this many instruments and this much focus is uh, a, a dedication to putting on a performance. So we, we all appreciate that. Thank you very much for having us. Sure. So it was just days ago that the new Rubble Bucket EP, If You See My Enemies, was released. So I know that's got to be exciting. You finally you put it together, and now the world is ready. Very exciting. So it just came out. I know we're going to get to hear a couple tracks uh, throughout. You know, we've played some on EQX already, but one of the fun things we like to do is just so people can hear it in real time. And there's nothing like seven musicians ready to go. So I want you guys to start, if you would. Okay. All we right. Would love to. It is uh, EQX House Sessions with Rubble Bucket.
<laughs> we got all some right. naysayers out there. Rubble bucket on the EQX house sessions. I think with all of you crammed in this area, and there has to be a lot of people to even consider this crammed, but I think this is good practice for tonight at the Hollow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how's your tour been going so far? It's been really fun. We just uh, did three shows last weekend. Um, that was kind of like the, the EP release shows, and um, we've been playing a lot. We've been playing this music actually a lot <laughs> over the past probably few months to a year. It was pretty wild. Uh, Providence and Boston were sold out, and then the Boston show was the first time I ever had to use, like, cover my ears for the, like, the, the art, because it's like a weird venue. The, the stage is really close to the, like, the wall, and the audience was so loud, it was like painful. This, which is pretty cool. I was going to say, it's, it's, it's kind of worth it, right, to experience that. Now, I know performing here, even at our station in Manchester, there's so much history that you have with Vermont as well. I mean, yeah. you, the band came together at UVM. Yes, and I'm, I grew up here. <laughs> Where in Vermont did you grow up? I grew up in Woodstock, um, and yeah, and then Alex and I met at UVM, and, um, and it's really, it's just, it's amazing to be able to come back here and be on the radio. Well, we're glad to have you. Yeah. Um, you know, the first radio station I worked at was in Burlington, and I remember uh, coming to work, it was like one night a week, an overnight show, you know, and you're trying to crack in, and I would drive by the UVM campus, and then down the hill, and past the spinning nectar sign, and just yeah. Burlington has such a great energy. Do you feel like it was maybe, not just by happenstance, who you meet at school, but did you think it was something about that town that helped fuel the energy a little bit? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We had so many opportunities to play. There's there's really a, a inviting, welcoming community for the arts and music in Vermont, like all over Vermont, but in Burlington's kind of one of the the vortexes of it all. Yeah, especially as horn players, we kind of got to just sit in with all kinds of bands every single night, different styles and stuff, so that was cool. Well, I think that's, that's part of the allure, too, of people who are listening right now and maybe um, are fans of Rubble Bucket, but even if you're just learning about it, there's just something inherently fun about horns. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And obviously, you know, the, the three of you are, are fronting the band right now. Unless it's sad trombone. <laughs> that would be, yeah, please don't, that's not the next song, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sad trombone. <laughs> well, let's do another one from the If You See My Enemies EP, which is out now from Rubble Bucket. Yep. One, two, three. Huh. I come from a greener place to move a lot less fast. I was raised with the cows and the birds in a toothless laugh What's wrong with nothing being wrong, mama? Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't fight What's right? All right 
to a buck a wild mama It's a short life I got a cat in the bag with the knives I wanna Ah, 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 ah Don't fight what's right Rubble Bucket with the title track, If You See My Enemies, from the new EP here on the EQX House Sessions. It's Keller with the entire band here. Um, we have a show tonight with them at yes. the Hollow. So yes. there's the new material. There's what your fans have come to know and love. How much do you like to dedicate to the new material versus the ones that you always know have a, a built-in reaction with the, the relationship those songs already have with people? How do you figure out that set list? I th well, I think we've always, from our very beginning, been changing constantly. It's never been a steady sound, and so that's kind of fun to keep everyone guessing. <laughs> but yeah, there's a healthy ratio of new songs to old favorites, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Yeah, we kind of, kind of intersperse familiar things with new things and try not to play, you know, we like to road test new material but we try not to play too many like unreleased songs. You know You know what I find fascinating about some of the material you've put out? And I, I always like to check bands' websites and see what kind of merch they have. I've seen this on only a couple of bands, but I, I love that even on one of your, uh, I think the, the music part of your website, Survival Sounds, you're selling as a B-side cassette. Yes. Are you moving any of those? I'm, I'm legitimately <laughs> curious. Do people buy them? Um, yeah, we're all sold out, actually, uh, except for a few that cracked. So I've just been keeping them around because cassette tapes, they, they, the cases crack really easily. We are at a time a where, yeah, we're at a time now where it seems like any type of way you want to hear it, you can buy it. I just I think it shows a little bit of a sense of humor, too, of a band that you're like, you know what, we're going to. We're going to order a few cassettes up, and yeah, then they, they sell out. they feel really good in your hand. I th it's like everything. everyone has everything they need digitally now, so they're like, but I want to hold something. So Understood. That kind of works out. Uh, one more, can we do? Definitely. All right. Rubble Bucket, right here on the EQX House Sessions. Put your hand 